So good afternoon, everybody. It's Jim Ferguson with Artistic Painting Studio. And welcome. Okay, I know I'm a few minutes late, but I was still gathering and trying to get another camera working as well. So do me a huge, huge favor as you um, join me. Uh, do me a big favor and say hello. Um, I'm using StreamYard again today, so make sure that you give StreamYard permission to use your name. You'll find the link in uh, the top comments of the post, okay? I've got some sticky stencils here, okay, <laughs> that we think we're going to use. I'm not sure. Hello, Teresa. I'm so glad you made it tonight. Um, we want to congratulate Teresa because she was um, a huge winner of, of one of our lives um, a few nights ago, okay? Not the one from last night, but you guys rocked last night's um, video, and uh, we're going to also be getting a, a winner from that. We just haven't had a chance to get everybody into our virtual hat. But thank you, thank you guys for joining, so hello. Okay, so, um, and um, I'm using StreamYard because it's allowing us to um, actually go live from several different locations at once or go into several different locations at once. So that's kind of why we're using it right now because we wanted to make sure our Foil Everything group um, has getting these directly into the group um, and also um, we're on YouTube. Uh, so if you've never subscribed to us on YouTube, uh, please do. Um, we post a new video on YouTube every week. And those are full video tutorial, full video projects, okay? Um, not just a, a Facebook Live that's been completely repurposed, okay? So it's worth it, worth it. Um, oh, Darlene, hold on. Hmm, let's see. I have that, okay? Um, I'm finding that link for you right now. I've got my laptop right here. We shared that in a few spots um, today, and um, I will make sure to share it with you right now, okay? I uh, don't know what's gonna let me directly, let's see, let me go on to uh, Facebook as well. I'm bouncing here, okay? And uh, I haven't been on my laptop all day, so there's just a ton of windows open. One of my employees uses my laptop most of the time here. Uh, she prefers a Mac over a desktop for some reason. I think that's just um, her her main jam. Um, so she's always on my Mac. And I bought myself. Okay, let's let's get onto my page. Okay, I can't I can't talk, type, and think all at the same time. I got too much going on. Um, I was gonna let you guys know. Um, did you hear that? Apple is coming out with a new desktop version. I guess it's called a desktop version. They come in really cool colors. Um, I think I ordered myself a pink Mac for my desktop. So I'm so excited. It's supposed to be here sometime in June, which is just around the corner. Okay, let's see, let's see. Uh, I think we got a live video going here. That's awesome. Um, I've got that link copied. Uh, just got to see where are the comments coming from. Okay, here we go. Darlene, uh, I am posting that link for you. You, oh, that was the wrong link. Let's make sure we get the right link. Okay, I, I found it. Then I forgot to go copy it. Okay, you know, all this little technical stuff. You got to copy and paste. Okay, here we go. So Darlene, that is the link where we are finding our hats and um, go check them out. I ordered a few more because I have three in the progress right now. Well, a total of three that are being worked on and I've got probably one or two more that we're gonna start tonight. Um, and I got a feeling I'm just gonna need a few more hats, okay? I got so many ideas for these now. Um, Oh, Darlene, that is so awesome. Are you just getting together with all your friends and going to have a hat party? <laughs> oh, you gotta, you got to take pictures of your, um, your little gathering and your group. So that would be wonderful. <clears throat> well, hello, Michelle from Fresno. How is Fresno these days? I haven't been up there for a while. I think I have to go for a visit sometime soon. Mm. Sorry, guys. All of a sudden, um, 
I can't talk, so let's grab some water real quick. Um, and we're going to get going here in just a second. Okay, let me let me get one more thing open that I was trying to open before we got going. And um, I found my iPad was dead. Okay, there's just too many devices around here that constantly all need cords and need to be plugged in. And I'm telling you, I'm just not sure how how we end up doing all this, but it kind of gets crazy, okay? So I wanted to, I got another camera going here, you guys. We're just going to be doing a little bit extra filming and we're just gonna be doing this for fun. So let's see if this works or not. We'll find out. Um, okay, so, oh, Sherry, you're already on it and thank you, Sherry. Sherry is, um, Sherry spoiled herself for Mother's Day and ordered one of our mystery boxes. If you've never ordered one of our mystery boxes, they are quite fun. Um, they were mystery. I can't guarantee you what will or will not be in it, but Sherry was so thrilled she has bought herself another one. So that makes me feel super, super good because we put, I, I put those together. Okay, they're special boxes. They just got a little bit of everything. They could have, you know, foils in it. And you could have, uh, a roller in there, or it could have a stencil in there. I mean, it's just, they're way more value um, than what you're paying for them. So they're great. They're great. And Sherry decided that it was such a great deal. She had to get a second one. Um, yeah, she says best buy ever. That is great. Okay. Um, let's see here. I got a person here that's saying, um, so excited to get my huge order from last night. Glad to try something new. Okay. Do us a favor and go up there um, in the comments and give StreamYard permission to use your name because we want to know who you are it's just, instead of just being a Facebook user. Hello, Madonna. It's so great to see you. Thank you all for hanging out. We so appreciate you being here. Um, so I, Teresa wasn't on our live last night, so she didn't get to hear she was a winner. Um, and Teresa just happened to have an order in the house. So I stuck her prize in her order. So even before she even knew she was a winner, we already had her order shipped and there's a goodie in there for her. So we're so excited to be um, being able to share with you. And I already have our prize rolled up from last night uh, because I promised that whoever was the winner was gonna get some of our leopard prints. Um, I know there is pink and our blue teal and the bronze. And I think I put Jaguar in there and I think I put a couple other things. Okay. I mean, it's, I try to make our prizes pretty damn great. Okay. <laughs> because I know how it is to get happy mail. Okay. I know that when somebody sends me something um, and it's like, you won something. It's so cool to actually receive that. Um, oh, you guys are so sweet because right now I'm not even asking for anybody to share and you guys are just sharing this video that is awesome uh, okay so we are going to i'm going to show you what i did last night and i was dreaming about my swarovski crystals trying to remember where they could be in the studio i have no stinking idea but before i knew it today i turned around my daughter was calling me and it was 4 10 in the afternoon uh, so obviously I didn't get a chance to look for them. I'm going to try to put that on my agenda tomorrow morning. I have videotaping to do this morning. So I just, I, I got behind on certain things, but I really want to bling this one out a little bit with my crystals. And also I'm flipping it over because I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, leopard here as well. Okay. So that way, no matter what's going on, um, I, I've got the inside outside of that. And then I think I need a few crystals or something on here. Like I said, I want to make, I want to see if I can find somebody to do Parker Mafia for me so that I can also put that on the hat. Um, so we got some plans for a few of these, but uh, this has not been on there super long. So I'm going to kind of test um, the length of how long the foil adhesive is sitting before we go forward. Because remember, with doing this project, we're loading it on here a little bit thicker than we than I would normally ever recommend. Okay, uh, and then I also have um, my teal hat going. Okay, this one is ready to, or should be ready to go. But I want you to see what I did because yesterday 
I discovered I wasn't super, super neat with my brush application, which then that meant a little bit of the foil adhesive got onto the hat part instead of just the rim. So when I transferred a little bit of foil got up there and I know I'm going to probably put crystals across there or do something to kind of hide um, my not perfect application of brushing. So this time I decided to put tape so that I didn't have to worry about it. And um, the one that I did, this was prepped yesterday. So this one is totally ready to go. So I thought even in case I did end up getting, I think I got a little bit, not much. I think it was, a, I think I got enough that I might actually put tape over this. So even though there's, there's foil adhesive there, I think I want to put tape over it so that nothing transfers to it. Because if I don't want to do anything else on here, I don't want the foil to hit the hat part. Um, yeah, I think so too. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's see. I've got to read this one. It says, I'm sorry. How do I show my name and who I am except something? Oh, um, go to the top of the description of the um, video. And it should have a little thing in there. It says something about StreamYard and click the link and it just gives them permission to use your name. That way we get to see who you are because we want to know who you are. Okay. Um, and let's see. Donna, thank you for the, it looks like I got stars from you and you look like you're new here. I don't really notice um, that name. So welcome if you're new. Okay. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we've got some ideas. Not only am I planning on uh, working on those and testing how long, because I was talking to last night about our foil application and length of time, and we're being generous with our, with our application, and I'm wanting you to wait longer. But I figured I would test one and just kind of give it a, a, a whirl. And then I was also thinking that we might have to add a stencil to one of these, which I thought would be super cool as well. And like I said, I got a bunch of hats on order, so I am just going to play, play, play. And I'm going to back up here a second because I know, I know there's a lot of newbies on here. And just to confirm, we will have a winner from last night's live because you guys just awesome rocked it. You had so many shares on last night's live. I am just beyond thrilled. Okay. I think I might even be upping the gift and making sure that it is just super special. And we might as well do that tonight because you guys were so great about rocking it. We're just going to ask you to go ahead and share again um, because that is how we reach new people. Um, Facebook is not as generous with, um, algorithms and making sure that um, our feed gets into every or our videos get us into a lot of people's feed anymore. This is kind of interesting. So kind of our best way is word of mouth and word of mouth is you guys just sharing this to your page and share it with all your friends and families and let them know what crazy lady y'all hang out with. Okay. Um, so tonight we're working with our Artsyville embellishments foil adhesive and this is our traditional foil adhesive. This is the one that's really meant for hard surface, really was never designed to go on any kind of a textile or fabric, but we're finding that there is an exception to the rule, okay? And there possibly is even more exceptions to this rule, but right now we are definitely working with um, canvas hats and they're coming out great. So the other thing is if you had a hat that had a leather bill, okay, it'd work perfect. Um, this will also work on your shoes. Um, anything that's leather, even pleather works um, pretty good. You just want to make sure that you probably seal your pleather first uh, because our foil adhesive is super, super sticky. And sometimes we get um, where it wants to soak into the pleather and pull it off. So it's best to seal it before you go forward with your foil adhesive. Okay, I'm going to turn my camera down a little bit. So excuse my arms, we're on a traditional um, type of, what is this, tripod, okay? And I'm just trying to make sure we're kind of straight and let you guys see my screen here. Um, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, Donna says she, uh, let's see, she has purchased foil and, adhesive, foil and adhesive from us a few weeks ago. Oh, okay, awesome. Thank you so much. Yes, I think it's time to um, 
get you on board with everybody here and let's get you um, on to some projects. And this is definitely one of our newest fun things that we've been playing with. And I know that we have had uh, at least one or two customers here on our page do something with a hat, uh, a baseball cap type thing. And um, she was semi um, successful. And um, then we had another one of our customers and Lori was extremely successful and shared with us um, how amazing it came out. And I said, oh my gosh, I'm stealing that. We have to share this with the world. Everybody needs to know they can do their own baseball cap. Okay, so I'm gonna let you guys look into my bucket, okay? This is a full, well, it was a full gallon, okay? But this is our gallon bucket. So you know that our adhesive looks milky white when it's in the jug. And it comes in multiple sizes, so don't get scared, okay? Um, our smallest jar is our four ounce. Then we also have a 10 ounce quart and then the gallon, okay? So there is plenty of different sizes to accommodate anybody's project. Um, oh, Joanne, thank you. Uh, Pam, I did. I Pam, I, I, I found it and I shared it. So let me see. Um, I'm going to just post it right here. Okay. I'm posting it in the chat. Um, so that is our right here. This is our link to our Amazon shop. So anytime I'm using a, a surface or a product or a tool that we don't carry, we don't sell it. Um, I always put those links into our Amazon shop. So at least you guys can go find it. You'll know exactly what the product is. And um, that way you'll just know if you want to use that one, fine. If you don't, don't even worry about it. But that's our shop link. And um, that'll definitely get you. Um, and I did tag you earlier today, but sometimes I don't know if everybody's getting um, all of the, uh, if they actually get all of their tags. <laughs> yes, uh, we've got a few people saying, yes, it's addictive. It can be addictive, but oh my gosh, it's so much fun. <laughs> yeah, well, at least it's a good um, addiction. It's a healthy addiction. It gives us something fun to do. Okay, I like I said, I'm going to go ahead and take this off. I want you to, um, I'm going to go through our prep first. And I know I did this last night, but I know we got newbies on here. And I'm always, always wanting to share all my steps and get everybody up to speed. And this is quick, okay? So we don't have to look, think I'm going to be doing something for a long time. Uh, I'm just using my blue tape. I'm putting it across the front of the hat part, okay? So that I can try and keep my foil adhesive only on the bill of the hat. And that way, if I don't want to bling it out, if I don't want to have to put something else over that area, it's taped and masked off. So I don't have to worry about being a super, um, uh, super neat person when I'm doing this. And then we, I just grabbed the foil adhesive. And remember, anytime you're working with our foil adhesive, I recommend a sticky plate. So this is a foam plate. I've used it over and over and over again. It has tons of dried foil adhesive on here. Um, and then the white stuff is what I just pulled out of the container. And we're gonna use this straight out of the jar. We want it at full strength and we wanna put on really, really good coverage, okay? And I'm just gonna remind you, everybody, that we are going to do another giveaway tonight if we can get our shares at 25 and above, we are going to definitely do another giveaway and it will feature some of the foils that I am working with tonight. Um, so we will have um, hopefully another lucky winner. So just do me a big favor if you want to possibly be a winner and have your name put into our virtual hat, then go to this video and hit that share button share it to your personal page and then come back and just let me know that you did it. Okay. Just put it in the comments, right? That you shared, you sprinkled, um, whatever you want to say, 
but we have to know that you did it. Otherwise, we won't be able to put your name into the virtual hat. That's the only way we know. And I'll tell you, though, that when we, um, when the system picks a winner, a virtual winner, because what we do is drop all your names into a little system that we have that um, randomly picks a winner, uh, we do go and verify that you actually did share it, okay? <laughs> So my, my team is, is, is making sure y'all legit, okay? <laughs> so make sure that you do that. And again, it just helps us to reach more people because you guys know my story. My story is that art has been a healing thing for me for many, many, many years. And I think it is something that's so important in everybody's life that I just want to be able to reach as many people, share some fun, creative projects, and possibly just be an inspiration in somebody's life, okay? You guys are all inspire me as well, because like I said, I got this idea from you, okay? This was not me coming up with, oh, let's go grab a baseball cap. I am sharing with you what a few other people had shared with me, okay? So you are also my inspiration. Uh, but I'm gonna tell you guys, by the time we're ever done at some point, I think we will have foiled the world. Okay, at this point, I'm not sure there's anything that either myself or the group of you are not w willing to actually experiment and try. Okay, so thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your shares, all of your likes, all of your support. Okay, because I know um, that sometimes you just don't know how and how how your videos, how your inspiration, what you're sharing on your life, how it could affect somebody else's life. And this was a great conversation that I was having with a friend um, this past week. And um, she, she, we're all kind of feeling it because Facebook has kind of just screwed with things lately. So everybody's reach is really off. And um, she just kind of reached out to her community and was just, you know, trying to encourage everybody to please share, share, share. And there was a gal that reached back to her and said, you know, you just don't know how much, and I'm just going to bring up the camera, okay, um, how much that um, my friend had meant to her, okay? And my friend has, I mean, hundreds of thousands, okay? She's got over a half a million, million followers. So she has a huge, huge following. And this gal just poured out and she just said, um, you know, please keep doing what you're doing, no matter what Facebook does, because... She had had some health issues. She had had uh, moved a lot. And um, this person has kind of become her Facebook friend, whether she personally knows her or not. It's a familiar person, somebody she knows that's going to be creative, make her happy and inspire her and make her day better. And so it was just really cool to hear that story come back because we don't always know um, how we might uh, touch somebody's life. Um, not unless you guys actually let us know and um, share the story with us. And I've had many, many stories over the years that um, it inspires me to keep doing this every day uh, because I know there's a few people out there, maybe more than a few, um, that look forward to this crafting, that look forward to the projects, that look forward to the crazy things I come up with. And um, that's what it's all about. So thank you guys. Thanks. You, thank you for all your support. Okay. I'm going to put the camera back down. I'm going to quit jabbering and we're going to get back to my project. Okay. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you all. Uh, let's see here. I got to pull up. Oops. Pulled up the wrong one. Okay. So Melissa says not bad that we can be beautiful, that we can beautify the world with fun and color through beautiful foils and creativity. It is. I mean, it's just something that is just awesome to be able to um, share our love and our passion with others. Okay, so as I was doing this, I want to point out a couple of things. I went straight out of the bucket. Okay, I did not water this down because we wanted it full strength. I also put it on a little extra heavy. Not that it's dripping off, okay, and I did, though, smooth out my brush marks as much as possible. You saw that I was using... Um, an artist type brush, okay, so that's going to put it on probably as smooth as possible, but I also want it to just kind of come back and smooth them out because 
nothing soap levels, okay? Only so much of this is going to soak in, so we're possibly going to have a brush stroke or two. Um, and that's why I encourage you to put it on with a good brush and try to, like, um, smooth everything out. And I was generous, so I kind of, like, put it on and then even came back and almost put on, like, a second coat, like, wet on wet. Um, because whatever does soak in, we don't want to lose our tack. We want it to be super, super tacky. And we know some of it's going to soak into that fabric. So that's why I was being a little bit more generous than I usually am. And then we're going to let it sit and wait. Um, I know that the two hats that I've got prepared over here have been sitting for um, maybe 35, 40 minutes. No, probably 40, 45 minutes. Okay. So I am going to test one of those because... I want it to get a good idea on, you know, how long do we really, really have to wait, okay? Because I was encouraging you to go 90 minutes to two hours so that it was super tacky and had a long time for setting up. Um, and then I'm just going to read a couple of questions here. Um, Desiree says, yes, it's important that we share out love for such a wonderful and inspirational person. You are all. Thank you so much, Desiree. I so appreciate you. Desiree has become a super big help here on my Facebook page and foil everything. If I get busy and I don't get to an answer right away, Desiree is there. Okay, I just want you guys to know. And I know that Desiree, if she's questioning her answer, she'll tag me and make sure that I see it as well. And um, I just want you to know, we appreciate you. We appreciate you a lot. Okay, I'm also going to move on here. It says, how do you clean your brush? Well, what you guys don't see is all my brushes are sitting in a water tub. And this just kind of gets um, like shoved in here. Okay, I could, I could have like 25, 30 brushes in this tub sometimes because I don't always get back to the sink as quickly as I want it to. And um, one of my employees that definitely takes care of my brushes now, yes, we hired somebody who takes care of my brushes. Um, she hasn't been here for the last couple of days. So my brush bin is getting full. But in between getting back to the sink and washing, um, they sit in this tub. And if you guys don't mind, I'll go grab my soap and my brush and I'll show you guys how to do this and um because I know I I said I was going to and I forgot so give me just a second as I run back to the sink okay I'm running 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 and I'm going to show you this super great step because this is awesome awesome stuff okay and we do sell this uh Okay, I did good. I ran fast. Okay, I gotta be careful with my foils right now. We got super sticky stuff everywhere. Okay, uh, this is an old tub. This is what our big tub looks like, and we also carry it in smaller tubs. Okay, so don't get scared. We have it in a smaller size. I believe we still have it available on the website. It is called Master's Cleaner, and this is the best cleaning stuff I have ever found for brushes, and we use it for everything, absolutely everything. Um, we've even spilt paint on a carpet and got it out with this. We had a friend wash paint with her clothes and we got it out with this. Uh, but what we use are these cute little heart brushes or little scrubbers. Okay, it's just a little heart scrubber. It has these uh, little spikes on it. So I, know I can't really do this right now, but normally we take it and we just scrub, okay, and you can see how the direction I'm going, I'm only going one direction, never go against your bristles, okay, flip it over, go that way, that way you can scrub out all that product, and then I rinse under water, and then we come in here, and we grab some of that wonderful soap, and we do it again, and we do this until our um, suds go clear, and then we consider the brush clean, so that's it. Um, very easy process, but very important to take really good care of your brushes, because um, we spend a lot of money on those, okay? So we want to make sure that we take really super good care. Hello, Maury. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, yes, even Maury's saying that soap is the best, okay? Yeah, get the big tub because um, I use it for everything. Um, let's see. So I got to keep going down questions here really quick. Mary Jo says she got one of those mystery boxes and 
Oh, this is, oh, I got one of those mist, those in my mystery box and wondered what it was. Oh, you didn't know what it was. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty good at putting that scrubber in everybody's um, box because I think everybody needs it. Okay, that is your brush scrubber. Okay, for those that did not know. Um, okay, let's see. I'm going to move on and we're just going to start working. And if I see more comments, I'll go back on in. Okay. Um, I was going to try to use my scrap piece, but I think I'm going to probably just put that in the scrap bin. Um, okay. I haven't said this for a while because our scrap bin was getting really, really empty. Okay. But for those of you that order with us, in the comments on your order, okay, and this is the only place that you can put this, okay? It has to be on an order, and there is a section on our order form that allows you to write us a comment. If you write in, please include scraps, foil scraps, in your order, we will put some scraps in your order, okay? And what you kind of get is stuff like this, okay? Um, I used it on a live. I didn't use all of it. There's still plenty of foil here. We put this in the scrap box. And those that ask for scraps get stuff like this. So, um, again, our, our scrap box is finally full enough to let you guys know that you, um, that you can request scraps again, okay? Um, let's see. <laughs> Maury says, I'm back to foiling more cups. My last big order called for more today. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, Maury is becoming the, the cup queen, okay? Um, oh my gosh, Faye, I think all orders are out. Okay, so yeah, we only do it when people ask. Um, Robin, are you going to seal your foil on the hat and how delicate will it be? Yes, I'm sealing it, okay? Um, let's go ahead and get this on here. Let's just get this. Okay, and remember, this is only dried for probably about 45 minutes. Uh, where is my, where is my, where is my scrub brush? Okay, well, I can't find the one I was really looking for, but we'll use this one, okay? Um, this one even got paint on it. So, yes, Robin, let me see if I can scrub and speak at the same time. Uh, last night we used final coat and I brushed the final coat onto the top of the hat. So the top of the hat is sealed already. Okay. And because we are using my regular foil adhesive. Okay. This is not a textile foil adhesive. This is my regular foil adhesive. We definitely need to seal. Okay. And don't try to wash this. It will not, absolutely will not go through your washer, okay? My product is water-based, okay? So if by chance your hat gets dirty, I hope you put at least two or three coats, a final coat on it, so you can wipe it off and clean it, okay? Just like we do the shoes. Um, so definitely don't try to put it through the laundry, Put a couple of coats of final coat on it. Final coat stays flexible and is wonderful um, to use on projects like this. We use it on our cowboy boots, our shoes, the tennis shoes, anything that you're doing that's kind of a flexible surface that needs to have some protection. Final coat is your go-to product, okay? So yes, we're getting the bill of this done. Um, let's see. Um, Oh, Sherry, I don't think your Sherry, I don't think your order has gone out. So I will try to remember to put that note on there before it goes. Okay, so you might end up with just some scraps in that mystery box. <laughs> um, so Gloria's asking, um, did I put tape on the hat? This one I didn't. Um, I didn't tape either side. And if we look super close here, you're going to see I got a little bit onto the hat part, okay? Which is probably only I'm going to notice it. It's not it's not that much, but it really it did get up over here, okay? So this one I hadn't taped, but that what that's when I realized I'd rather tape on my next one cuz I don't know if I'm going to bling this one out. 
but it does give you the option if you have something like that that happens and it gets somewhere that you really didn't want it um it gives you the option to go oh okay well maybe we're going to put some crystals on here come up with something else i don't know i was wanting to kind of go online and see what else um i could find to kind of like uh, embellish on the hats with it and like I said, I was going to look for my crystals, but I just didn't have a chance. Um, I was even thinking glass beads, okay, could also be something that could be cool. Um, so, yes, okay. Let's see. Ruth, do you have an order in with us? And has it shipped yet? Okay, that's the key question. Has it shipped yet? Um Let's see, Sherry's saying you could sew lace and trim. Oh, that's always true. That's what I was kind of thinking, Sherry, a rhinestone chain, okay? That would be kind of cool. Um, I figured I could find something if I just had a couple of minutes to go online, okay? So up in the areas that you're close to um, where the stitching is, I'm just using my fingernail to get up there and make sure that I've got full coverage. And then I did end up with the little corners. I just hadn't pulled the foil up high enough. But I'm going to come over here and just use my fingernail and finish those little spots off. So look at this. We are done. Okay, so that is the top and the bottom of the bill. Okay, and I think this one is going to be super cute super cute at the river this weekend okay so i'm definitely going to take it with me okay so i'm going to show you um okay so sherry's saying no glue use glue um if i was doing any kind of a uh, rhinestone or crystals i was definitely going to use glue okay to get them to stick um Uh, Ruth, it's just my staff is so excellent that your your order could be boxed and on its way or, or gone already. Okay, that's my staff. My staff is the bomb around here, and we try super hard to get all your orders out within 24 hours, okay? Um, so that's why I'm just saying it could be gone. Uh, Desiree's saying use a sheer bond hot glue for fabric to use for adding things. Oh, yes, definitely. Um, and I've got to find my hot glue gun as well. Okay, so let's find me a clean plate, which is sometimes challenging around here. Uh, but there's one, okay? So we're going to find a clean plate. <laughs> Sherry says, yes, we are pretty fast. Sherry, your order didn't get processed just because it had the mystery box on there. And I'm the only one that does the mystery box, okay? Um, so I'm pouring out some of the final coat. Because on this particular project, I think it's easier to brush it on and get a little bit heavier application, which I don't always recommend, but it's just going to definitely go on much better um, with a brush application uh, for this particular uh, project, okay? So put it onto a plate and then just brush this on. And final coat is supposed to go on super, super thin, okay? And um, because it goes on so thin that it lasts a long time and it stays nice and flexible and is great for all of our uh, crazy projects, okay? So that, like I said, this is great for shoes and we've had a lot of you do shoes, okay? That's my next, my next project, okay, is to go, uh, I, I decided I'm gonna go find me the cheapest pair of shoes I can, like at a Dollar General or a Dollar Tree or whatever I can find. And, um, or I'm gonna even try maybe Walmart this weekend when I go into town. And um, definitely uh, find me something that I can just experiment with because I wanna try a couple of different um, techniques and um, just figure out what's gonna be the best way to do this, okay? Oh, okay, so somebody's indicating that fusion glue is great for fabrics and it can take a washing. Okay, well, no matter if fusion glue can take a washing or not, this project cannot. I'm just saying, 
This is not a textile glue that we're using, and I would recommend not trying to wash this hat. Okay. Make sure that you put two to three coats of the final coat on the surface so that you're protecting it and you won't have to worry about if it gets dirty, you can just wipe, wash it off, okay? This is, I just do not think it's gonna go through the washer. I can almost guarantee you, it will come out looking rather rough, okay? If anybody wants to experiment and give it a heck of a try, you can, okay? Um, let's see. Okay, I think I just answered uh, your question. What are you applying for the hat for a top coat? Okay, I think I just answered that. That is our final coat. Okay, so final coat is the one that we recommend for the hats and shoes, cowboy boots, leather, pleather, okay, that's that's your top coat. So I'm going to go ahead and um, put on a second coat to the top as well because we want to make sure that this is definitely covered. Now, my bill is going to be completely covered. If the rest of this hat gets dirty... I, I just don't think it's ever going to make a washing, guys, okay? You might be able to just do um, a washcloth and try to just, you know, clean, spot clean anything that got dirty on it. But um, it's just, in my opinion, it is not going to make it through the washer, okay? Not at all. The stuff that we do on fabric are traditional projects that I've done with my jeans and the shirt I'm wearing. Okay, can you guys see my lips right there on my shirt? <laughs> I'm kind of trying to bend over. But um, this was done with our heat transfer vinyl adhesive, which is a textile friendly product and is meant and will go through the washer, but no dryer. Okay. And it doesn't need any kind of a top coat, but it's a special adhesive. And we also made sure that we were using our textile foils as well. Okay, so this has two layers on the top and one layer underneath. And I'm going to just put it someplace safe so that it can dry. Okay, that's a crazy little thing around here. Okay, but now I've got, I have wet on both sides. Okay, so we're going to try to put that someplace where it can dry and not get stuck to something. But that's how you want to protect, okay? Um, yeah, I know. So you still need to wash the rest of the hat. Maybe apply Never Wet. Oh, it's a product called Never Wet to the rest of the hat so it can wipe clean. That's a great idea. I love the sharing here, you guys. Um, so Mary Jo said, I can't find the Amazon link. It won't let me go back through the comments. Okay, I'm going to post it again. I just posted it. Oh, you know what? Let me go post it in um, somewhere else, okay? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me get to our video here. Yes, okay. I'm going to post it in the comments on the video, and I'm going to make sure it gets pinned, okay? Um, let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, it keeps, my screen keeps, keeps rolling and my name gets, keeps getting in the way. Okay, it's pinned. It is pinned to the top of the comments right now, Mary Jo, so hopefully you'll be able to see that. Um, oh, yes, after the live, you can always, always go back, okay? Yes, 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 somebody's asking about stencils, and yes, that is my next project here, you guys. We are going to do a stencil. Um and that is what I had planned to do. So I have, I have a couple of options, okay? I know. We're going to try something crazy here. Um, oh, let's see. Okay, so somebody's saying, I want to foil a stencil on the solid remaining part of the hat, not the bill. How would I do that? Okay, well, you are dealing with a little bit different here okay because now this doesn't have a backing backing on it okay so i'm going to say that i would still use our foil adhesive i would use it at full strength do not water it down and maybe stencil over it more than once okay and i think you're just going to have to like experiment but um my caps have come where they have a little piece of cardboard right here to kind of keep them in shape while they're shipping I would leave that there for a little bit of stability to try that, okay? 
um, and maybe that'll work for you. Um, um, Faye, it's it's pinned to the top of the comments on the our regular Facebook page, okay? And I'll also put it again in the Foil Everything group. Um, so Donna's also asking, do you have to use Final Coat if you're using foil on wood furniture? Oh, Donna, no matter what, our foils have to be protected. The only time you do not have to protect the foil is when you are doing it on fabric like my t-shirt, okay? Just like a t-shirt type thing. That is the only time that you do not have to protect your foils. Other than that, we are always, always going to recommend that you top coat, okay? The foils are not durable on their own. Um, I'm also going to remind everybody that we're doing another giveaway tonight. So if you guys would do me a huge favor and make sure that you share this video. Just go share it to your personal page and then come back here and let me know you shared it. We're going to have another giveaway tonight and I will be giving away some of the foils that we are featuring. Um, so it will be an awesome, awesome gift. Okay, we just have to make sure that we get 25 um, shares so that we can do a giveaway. That is my requirement, okay? Okay, I grabbed our Nora Page stencil, which is like one of my all time favorites and thought this would be adorable on um, the bill of this hat. Okay. Um, so this is going to be super, super cool. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, Joanne, thank you so much. We appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Laura says, I'm sure you can get a mannequin type head on Amazon and then put the hat Oh, on that to create a solid surface to work on the hat, maybe. You know, that is a great idea as well. Um, Desiree saying to stuff the hat. Yes, definitely stuff the hat. Even if they have something round, okay? Um, if you had a bowling ball, the bowling ball would work. Um, I've got some pumpkins. I don't know if my Christmas ornaments are big enough, but anything round, I think, would work pretty good. I'm just kind of looking around the studio to see what I have. Um... But yeah, anything round is probably going to be pretty good. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 let's see. Oh, Mary Jo, she said she found my link. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, doo, 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 doo. Okay. So let's just keep going. And remember, share, 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 guys. We need all those shares. Yes, a plastic bowl. Okay. Yeah, I'm not at home, so I'm not looking around to find a plastic bowl. But yes, at home, I would have a plastic bowl. Okay. So this is going to be a little tricky. But I'm going to have to kind of go from one side to the other. But because of my um, foil adhesive is super sticky here, okay, my stencil is going to stick. And I don't have to put anything onto my stencil. Um, and uh, you will be able to just stencil this. Now, remember, this whole hat, the rim, okay, has already has foil adhesive on it. So I'm going to be doing uh, a negative and a positive application on this and see how it comes out, okay? And um, that way you can check out this application. Okay, now to decide, ooh, this is going to be the tough one, the really, really tough one here, is to figure out which foil I might want to use because in the design itself, we're not going to see um, a ton of it because it's just going to give us a lot of color, okay? Um, so I know that, like, Abigail always comes out gorgeous with this type of application. Um, I'm just kind of shopping over here in my, my bag, okay? Uh, and just kind of seeing what all I have over here. Uh, I just feel like I want something colorful to do this with, but I'm not sure which one I want, okay? And I also had grabbed our Nova glitter, because this is really pretty as well, but I'm afraid it's got too much black, but I could always pop it with another color. Um, and then I also thought we could definitely do um, this. our crazy groovy kaleidoscope 
Um, oh gosh, I wish I had brought more back here. Okay, I'm thinking this is too much black, so we're probably going to have to leave that one alone. Oh, Teresa, I love it. A styrofoam head for wigs would be great as well. Um, let's see. Bailey's Flowers. Yeah, Bailey's Flowers is also gorgeous. That one would probably work. Um, I'm just trying to figure out because I'm just going to, we're just going to see color. And I'm just trying to figure out kind of what all I want to do with this one. Oh, such a hard decision. Okay, such a hard decision. I'm trying to think of what color would I coordinate with this one, with Nova. Uh, and then I'm going, okay, 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 okay. Oh, it's so hard, you guys. It's so hard. I got too many decisions here. Too many options, options. Hmm. Well, I know that we're going to be doing, oh, well, let's see. I'm almost thinking I might want to do a leopard print with red or a leopard print with teal, okay? Because I also thought about doing um, Archie Delicious with, um, with silver. I thought that would be really cool, but I'm not sure you would really notice it was Cheetah-licious, okay? Oh, let me move that then. Okay, I know. So, share it on both pages. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate that. Oh, so that's the only way that I can put that on there, Joanne. The comments are just has the white background. We cannot change or control that one. Okay. Okay. I feel like I need a bright color. Um, so what else was I thinking? What else was I thinking? Okay. I was thinking, um, oh, I was thinking one that I don't have back here. Okay. This is driving me nuts. Okay. Um, I know. I know. I should just go forward. I should just do something, but I'm, um, I now have my heart set on something else. Okay, so I'm going to go grab one more foil. Forgive me, please. Please, please, please forgive me. Okay. Uh, because I think I think I need a uh, leopard in another color. Okay, sorry about that. But I think my combination is going to be our leopard that is our silver, okay? And I think I'm going to either rock this with a little um, turquoise or possibly um, red. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see, okay? Oh, I know. I got flower power. I'm looking at that one as well. Like I said... I've ordered so many hats, so there is going to definitely be a few more of these projects coming forward, and I know that you guys are going to rock some great projects as well, uh, so there is just going to be a ton of combinations, okay? So let's just go for this. If I hadn't done pink already, I probably would have gone for pink, but we're just going to try this one, and we are going to... Go ahead and just put the foil over the stencil and just transfer everything. And I think I'm going to get my toothbrush out because I really, really, really want to see this come through extremely well, okay? So we are going to rub, 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 rub and make sure that we have good coverage, okay? So you can see how it's attaching to the pattern, okay? So you can see that. You'll be able to actually see the stencil and you'll know that you are rubbing it and that you've got good transfer in those areas. Um, and it looks like I need to bend a little bit more and get this up corner here, okay? So I'm just going to add another piece of foil over that little corner and make sure that I've got that area, okay? And we're just going to keep bending 
we're going to make sure that we got really, really, really good coverage, okay? Um, I don't think I'm going to need to use a stylus. This is coming through really, really good, okay? Uh, and what, uh, what Maury is referring to is we have what's called a stylus that just has, it's also referred to as an embossing tool, and it has a little ball on it. Uh, I don't think I have one here handy. Sometimes on the narrow little areas, it can help make sure that you have as much definition as possible in all these areas. Another way to do it is just to go ahead and pull the um, foil back, release it, and let it fall back into those areas. And normally it will scrub down into the design sometimes a little bit better so that you have full coverage, okay? Now, this is not going to probably look as dramatic as I want it until I come back and do the backfill with this, okay? And the backfill is going to pop the design, okay? So as we go, I'm just going to kind of peek. I want to make sure that I can see it really well, okay? And that I have everything covered. And then, ooh, -hoo, that is going to look awesome, you guys. I hope you can see that pretty good because I can't really pull the stencil yet, okay? We have to rock our stencil. So I'm going to put this down. I want to kind of lift over on that side, okay? And it's going to stick super, super good because we now have stuck a stencil to oops, um, foil adhesive, okay? And our foil adhesive is super, super sticky. So it is going to want to adhere really well to the stencil. Okay, the stencil is going to want to get just as stuck as the foil adhesive, if not even more. So when you saw me pulling it, I'm really having to pull it. So be careful you don't break or rip your stencil when you're doing that. Okay. And then just keep peeking. Make sure you don't lift the stencil up, but just keep peeking and make sure that you have really good coverage with your design. So I'm gonna lift this side up. See how well? Okay, it's really, really stuck there, okay? But now I can lift it and go the other direction, but I gotta get this little part here first, okay? Um, so Cheryl's asking, all foiling needs to be protected no matter the surface applied, except if you're doing like a t-shirt, okay? So I'm going to lift up my camera, my shirt, okay? My hot lips here, girls, has nothing over the top. But this is a heat transfer vinyl adhesive and a textile foil. There's nothing else you have to do to it. I've washed this thing at least probably a dozen times, okay? I, I love my new shirts. So that is really the only thing that does not have to be protected. Everything else pretty much has to be. So this hat, we're protecting it with our final coat. If you do furniture, yes, you want to protect it, okay? Um, no matter pretty much everything else other than um, like a t-shirt that I'm wearing, everything else has to be protected. Okay, let's get a little bit different angle here. So great questions, great, great questions. So just keep moving it along. Like I said, go ahead and pull the foil back so that you can peek, okay? And make sure that you have as much coverage in that opening as you can. Allow it to fall right back into place. And if there's any more of the foil that's going to come off in that narrow little area, okay, and I picked a design that has a real delicate pattern, okay, that's just got narrower areas. So um, I'm just trying to make sure that I'm getting full, full coverage, okay. And then just keep pulling it up from that side because as you pull up and lift up on this side, it's going to allow the other side of the stencil to bend over, okay? And I'm trying not to put a permanent bend in it. I'm just trying to like work it from one side to the other. Um, <laughs> so uh, 
this is great. So it's, it's encouraging some Linda's encouraging somebody to um, do a video here. That's awesome. We love all the sharing. We know that Maury um, is sharing some of her, her cups, I believe, with some of you that have asked. And Maury is one of our retailers. She's out of the Chicago area. And she has been commissioned to do a whole bunch of tumblers. So I think that's what she's been working on for the last week. <laughs> Uh, and I know that some of them she couldn't share. I think there was something about making she, she couldn't share a couple of the designs or something because they were supposed to be a surprise gift type thing. So she wasn't allowed to share them on social media, but maybe these aren't them. Um, but yes, we are having a blast here and we always, always love um, anybody that wants to go ahead and use our products and share them with their following okay that's also a thing that we've been looking for um we are just finishing up a bunch of details as we've been working over the last couple of weeks but we are looking for content creators okay so if you have a following and you do facebook lives on a regular basis or uh, youtube videos um send us an email okay and we'll send you uh, a link that will allow you to apply for our content creator and see if you qualify um so we're always get, we're always trying to do new things and um, create as much awareness as we can and uh, there's only one of me. I can only do so many videos. I can only do so many different uh, YouTube videos, so many different Facebook lives, so many different um, blog posts. But we try to have a new video and a new blog every single week for you. And I have actually been rocking it so far this year. I'm so proud of myself that um, I have kept up with everything. So, so that's super cool. <laughs> Okay, let's see. I think, I think, I think I just about got that. Okay, so let's do the reveal here. And remember, when your stencil sticks like this, you guys, be very careful with them. I don't want you to rip your stencil just because you were doing something crazy and stuck it to your foil adhesive. Okay, you see how, how great that's adhering. Okay, that's my foil adhesive. It loves plastic. Okay, <laughs> um, but we got it off. Okay. So that is pretty damn cool. Okay. And it's kind of on the subtle side, but we're going to bling this out. Um, now what I'm going to do is go ahead and come back with a color. Okay. A solid color. I'll put that someplace safe. And I think I think I have. Okay, we don't want to get anything stuck into that hat because we've got to keep everything away from it. Okay, I could go silver, which would not be as stunning, but I'm looking to see if I got steel back here, and I do. Okay, I've got two choices. I think I've got enough of both of these, but one of these I think would be great. Okay, um, just looking to make sure I've got plenty of both. Okay, I have teal and red, okay? I'm thinking I'm gonna go teal. And which teal do I have? Okay, this is aquamarine. I want to make sure they're both aquamarine. Oh no, that one's gemstone. We wanna go brighter. We're gonna go aquamarine, okay? Yes, I gotta do the teal. So I'm just gonna cut a piece that's plenty large enough to go over the bill, okay? And what this is going to do, it's going to foil everything that has not already been foiled. Um, so if you didn't want to do a two-tone application, let's just say you want to just go ahead and rock a stencil, then just stencil through the openings, okay? And I'm probably going to have to come back and do another, I don't know if I can do three hat videos in one week, but you know what? We just might, okay? So I'm going to stick this on here. I'm cutting down the metal, okay, just so that I can move the foil both directions and cover the whole hat at like one time. So I just kind of split it so that it would move both directions, okay? Now, if all goes right, <laughs> this should only stick where the stencil 
did not. Okay. So anywhere where the foil has already transferred through the pattern of the stencil, it should not stick there. Okay. Let's hope it doesn't. <laughs> it's not supposed to because it already has foil. So it shouldn't be sticky or super sticky. And so no, nothing else should really ever get stuck there. Okay. And we want to just scrub on there and then come and peek and see how it's doing. Okay. And let's hope I got a strong enough contrast and enough variation here. Okay. So I'm going to really try to scrub that teal in because any of the black showing through the teal is going to take away from the pattern, but that is going to come out looking pretty darn awesome. Okay. I'm almost thinking I like the pattern by itself without the, the teal, but, or yeah, I, I think maybe just even stenciling the design on might be a super cool or just to get a stronger contrast between um, I got to get that in the right direction. Strong, stronger contrast between my foil colors. Okay. I think that's what I need it, but you definitely can see it, but I think I should have gone stronger. Okay. I think I should have maybe gone red. Red would have maybe popped it just a little bit more, but it's still super cool. Okay. But you're going to want to make sure that you have as much coverage as possible. Um, let's see. So Nora's asking, for some reason, my name didn't show up when I asked my question on foiling a stencil on the non-bill part of the hat. Do you place the stencil and apply the foil adhesive on the stencil first so the foil goes on to the pattern only? Yes. So yes, what you're going to do is traditional stenciling then, okay? You're not going to do what I just did because the whole bill already had foil adhesive, okay? Um, and you guys, this technique that I'm doing right now, this works on furniture. This works on walls. This works on a lot of different things. This is not new. It's just, I figured it would be kind of cool to do a design, uh, with a negative positive application. Okay. So let's see how that came out. I'm thinking, Okay, let's look at that. That came out pretty darn awesome. Okay. Yes, yeah, so a little stronger contrast I think would have been better and maybe to stay away from um, any black. Okay. So maybe a color and a color together instead of a pattern and a color. Okay. My choices aren't bad, but they're probably not my favorite, but I think I'm going to flip this over and I think I will tie it in by doing only this pattern on the inside. Okay, because we're going to flip all of our bills and we got to do both sides. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put this one on the inside and bring some of that out. I could also come up here and add a little bit more stenciling, okay, with just traditional stenciling. So, uh, Nora, I'm going to answer your question, okay? So if you're going to do this with a traditional style, meaning you're going to stencil through the openings, you're going to want to put a spray adhesive on the back, which is a repositionable spray adhesive. This is the one we sell here at our place. Okay. It is called stick it and it is for repositioning a stencil. It's meant to spray, spray on the back and it will help you to stick the stencil in position because you're going to have a curved surface. This is going to give you a little challenge. Okay. You're going to need the spray adhesive. You're going to need some tape and you're going to need both hands. Okay. But if you want it to do a traditional tile style of stenciling and we might as well go for it. Okay. And this is going to have to be the last thing I'm doing because I'm supposed to be home cooking dinner right now. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm supposed to be home cooking dinner. I have two kids at least coming for dinner tonight. Okay. I got, we got one of our boys is in town and um, I invited him over for dinner. So I've got to go home and start cooking here soon. Okay, let's see if I can make this work. And this will be the last thing that I'm going to do today. Okay, so and um, that'll be cool. Okay, I'm not going to try to do Nora Page because it's just oh, so challenging. Okay, with that bigger piece of stencil, I'm going to try to clear off a little section because we got so much going here. 
and um, let's grab a stencil brush, okay? So, Nora, this is for you. And I'm going to remind all of you, okay, real quick here, that we're doing a giveaway tonight as long as we have at least 25 shares of this video. So make sure if you haven't yet, hit your share button, share with all your friends and family, and then come back in the comments and let me know you did share, okay? So, Nora, straight out of the bucket, okay? Foil adhesive straight out of the bucket. It's going to be super sticky, okay? And you're going to pounce it onto the surface. And like everybody was saying, okay, you see how my surface is bouncing. Having something underneath here would be really, really good, okay, to give me a little bit more stability. All I have is the cardboard from the hat, okay? But I'm going to pounce this on. And you want to still be dry brushing, okay? You do not want to be, this has sat out for a while, so it's even like super, super sticky, okay? It's gotten thick, thicker. So that's not even a bad idea because that's going to help it not bleed underneath your stencil okay and I'm gonna probably go over this stuff design several times because I want it to be super sticky and make sure that I have enough product on here that we're gonna get a great release okay so once I get this stencil on here like I said I'm, I keep going over it um, so I'm going over every section two or three times because I want to build my um, amount of product up, okay? And I don't think it's a bad idea to take some of your foil adhesive, leave it on a plate for about 20 minutes or so. Let it get a little thicker because you're not going to have issue with bleed under that, okay? Can you guys see what I'm doing? I'm trying to make sure I've got my hands in a good position that you can see this okay so I'm just pouncing and I'm trying to pounce over everything a couple of times um, so thank you guys this has been so much fun and I just can't wait okay we're gonna start I'm gonna give you guys a couple of days to get hats get rocking and rolling okay and um, start doing some creative things and we're gonna get a really really fun thread going over on the foil everything page and um, let everybody post their creations because I want them all in one thread. I want everybody to post all their hats together, okay? Um, and it is going to be fun to see the level of creativity that comes out of this group. Um, this is just going to be super, super cool, okay? So try to make sure that your stencil hasn't moved around, okay, as you're doing this. I feel like I have, okay? And... Um, Yep, I did shift a little bit. Okay, so I'm not perfect on that, but that should give me a pretty good um, application for a good release. Okay, so we're going to let that dry overnight um, just because I have to. Because remember, I told you guys I got to go home and cook. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to have some unhappy children here soon that uh, somebody didn't do what they promised tonight. <laughs> um, and then we'll, we'll work on this one tomorrow. Okay, I think I'm going to come in with. Um, I don't know, we, we might do a little bit of both on this one. We might do some leopard, we might do the teal. I don't know, we're just gonna have fun. We're just gonna have fun, oh my gosh. Um, oh, so Lorray, um, there is a little link in the top description of the video that says, please give StreamYard permission to use your name. And if you do that, then we'll see your name when you post, okay? Um, okay, so everybody, don't forget, make sure, share, share, share this video. I have no idea how many uh, how many shares we are at, but we need at least 25 of those babies so that we can have a giveaway again, and we'll be doing another random drawing for another winner, okay? And we'll be announcing uh, a winner tomorrow that will be from yesterday's live, and if you guys rock it again, we'll have another winner from tonight's live. So thanks for hanging out with me. You guys have a blessed evening. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, all.